It's Mom Nerisa Beatrice, a teacher and a guidance counselor. And here's my channel where you can grow positive with all the relevant topics, lessons, and tips that I will be sharing. So if you're new in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for you to get updated with the next videos. Okay, so for this video, I'll be featuring a series of webinars taken from the three-day division level webinar on career psychoeducation for grades 10 to 12 students, which I was able to organize. As a guidance counselor, it is my advocacy to help students in their career decision making. So please do watch the videos. Okay, so before we start, we start. Mine is to discuss with you the parents' role in the career def the, the career des decision making of our children, especially of our students. Since our students now are from our audience is from senior high school, so I think um they are having a hard time deciding on what career path they are going to take. So. But before that, let me show you first a video presentation about about uh, about parents and children deciding on their careers. Teka lang po ha, ano lang natin yung video para makita ng mga bata. The title is Parents Choice versus Children's Dream. Uh, do voiceovers? Okay na po. Nakain yes, ma'am. Okay na po. Thank you po. I was more, more into the hotel catering and management. My father's a pilot, so uh, that probably would be a pilot. I do not like to take orders, so I thought to myself, the right decision is to be the manager or to own your own company. Um, I spoke to my dad and he said, yeah, sure. Actually, he wanted me to join an office, you know, 95 job. But I think it'd be a much better stable job for you instead of this. We had a military upbringing, so uh, I didn't cross the line, I guess. I wasn't in a very stable position at that time. I, I want him to do programming, computer programming. That Being a parent, you know, you kind of think, you know, okay, you want your kids to go into something which everyone needs. I've got a tax consultant. I need a tax consultant. She's in Mandarin schools, but I would imagine that she would want to take a translator in Mandarin language or a newscaster in Mandarin language or something? No, not at all. As parents, of course we want to have a say in our children's future. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not this year. I need to push you more. You have to concentrate on your studies because next year you are going to go to college. I'm fed that she won't give me to do whatever I want. And um, I know you really want me to do computer science and making applications, but I'm sorry to say, but it's just not my calling. She wants me to be a translator, actually. 
because I can speak three languages. I think he's always leaning towards maybe accountancy or law. Now, I need to tell you that I want to be a interior designer. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry I can't go with your decision for what you want from me. And I, I really just want to do what I want to do, and that is graphic design. Dad, this is a easy for me to say. I want to be a journalist. Well, um, admire her courage, you know, to actually be uh, truthful about what she wants to do. So I'll have to respect that. Even though if I may have my way, I would want her to be something else. But it's entirely her future, and I believe she's on the right path. <laughs> All right. I did it. No. Big hat. I'd like her to study something that will make her rich. <laughs> uh, no, I want her to study what she wants to do. There you go. Okay. There you go, nakakaiyak, di ba? Last, last night while I was working on this, on my presentation, I was emotional. Akit ako naging emotional. Naging emotional ako because I am too apparent and sometimes during my days, nung ako din, nung ako din, ano pa, bilang anak, my parents wanted me to be some, they shared some choices with me kung anong ku, dapat kunin ko or career path na kunin ko. Then, why are you mga ended, ended in education since you graduated psychology? Diba? Nasabi ng host kanina na si teacher, si teacher graduated in Ateneo Dinaga with a degree of BS psychology and yet she is working, currently working as T3 teacher of the Department of Education, specifically at Iriga City. So, bakit nakaabot tayo ng ganun? Because, yan po ang ating discussion today. Okay. So, ano po masasabi natin dun sa video yung nakita natin? Sa video yung nakita natin, ako na mag-answer, ako na nagtanong, ako na nag-answer, di ba? <laughs> Bali, dun sa video yung nakita natin kanina, Nakikita natin three parents and three three sons and daughters, di ba? Pero dun sa latter part, parang nahihirapan, nagkaroon sila ng awkward moment na kung nahirapan silang magsabi ng yung tunay na gusto nilang um, na gusto nila pera dun sa gusto ng parents nilang gawin pa eh, nakunin nilang kurso. Bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng ganoong feeling sa parents natin? Okay. So, dito na po tayo mag-start kung bakit yun and kung paano dapat mag-work hand in hand ang parents and ang child and parang magkaroon sila ng open communication to do that. Opo? Kasi lalo na especially dito sa Philippine culture natin, mahirap tayong mag, uh, ano yan, mag-voice out sa parent natin. Kasi once, na ginawa natin yun. So, wail kang anak. Hindi ba? Hindi nila nakikita yung openness of communication. But, ang nakikita nila is yung pagiging suwail mo. Okay. So, let us start our discussion. Okay. This is the start of our conversation. Gawin lang natin itong parang conversation, mga bata. What is the role of the parents in the career decision of the children. Anybody of you have seen the movie Forrest Gump of Tom Hanks? Siguro, 
napanood na nung iba, that's a classic eh, classic movie of Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump has an autism, but he always he, he always once he start conversing with anybody, he always said, my mama always said. My mama always said. From the famous line of Forrest Gump, my mama always said, life is life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. That is a famous line that launches a lot and depict how integral parents influence in our decision making. The parents play an important role and have an influence on their children while looking for the career choice, especially when we tackled or consider the Philippine culture. Kasi di ba, mas malaki ang influence ng parents natin sa career pathing, lalo na dito sa culture natin. Parents' part in this case turns into all as the approach may straightforwardly and their children to take up different career paths. The same is true, especially in our career planning. Parents have experienced the same process and path can help improve their children or child's repeat the mistake in selecting the career. Parents must act as a guide and not exert authority in the child's preference. Hence, use their experience to let them, the children or the child or son or daughters, develop their own potential and resolve in a better career choice, especially in the world that we live in today. It's very different from today. Ang, ang ano natin, environment natin ngayon is very different. This is an, the career must match our today's reality. The Dole recognizes that career guides are very important to parents. Dole now have a days, um, uh, they conducted also like this a career guidance to equip our, uh, our, our young, young adults in the industrial world. Gone are the days when parents' task is merely disciplinary. Now parents should have a developmental role as they actively engage themselves in the career planning process of their children. They must be able to convey to their children the significance of choosing the right career. From it to the word, this is the word of our former Dole Secretary Rosalinda de Mapilis Baldos they must be able to convey to the children the significance of choosing the right career. Kasi ngayon ang iniisip natin is pag pumili tayo ng career, alin ba ang uso? Alin ba ang in demand? Ano bang gusto ni mama and papa? Yun lagi ang naiisip natin, di ba? So today, papalit ay ano natin, ipaparealize natin both sa parents and sa mga estudyante kung bakit they should work hand in hand and they should listen also to the to their parents this is an important factor okay may mga factors ako ang kinonsidered opo eto din ang kinoconsidered ng mga parents and might as well i-consider din ng mga bata opo in change let us change the role of the parents kasi dati di ba ang ano natin paano yun the ang um, Ang role ng parents is you disciplinary, authority. Etong gusto ko, etong gawin mo. Ako ang magbabayad. Eto ang dapat. Pero no, ngayon papalitan natin, i-change natin yung yung roles ng parents natin as guider, guider, facilitator. Opo, gagawin natin sila ngayon. Ngayon kasi ang parents dapat they are our friend, our confidant, and our body. Gan are the days yung authority figure sila. They must be able to convey, sabi nga ni ating secretary, to convey. Pag sinabing convey, dapat na i-transfer. With our world and very dynamic, dynamic educational and in industrial environment, children should be independent. Independent and take their own decisions. Parents knows 
or parents know their child's potential and ability the best. Mas kilala nila yung mga anak nila kesa sa aming mga teachers, sa ating mga teachers. And along with the information on career paths and choices made available through education, it would be easy to take the process of career selection. Buti nga meron na tayong ganitong mga career guidance. Nung panahon namin, lahat lang parang, ano, uh, it's, a blur, it's a blurred Um, parang environment sa amin, oh, okay, sabak na tayo, nursing na lang tayo kasi maraming nursing, ganyan. Oh, mag-engineer tayo kasi gagawa kami ng bahay, gagawa kami ng plano. Yun lang ang naiisip namin noon. Patapos pag may nag-career talk sa school namin na uh, I came from a Catholic school, oh, may nag-career talk dito galing sa ganitong seminaryo, ganyan. Oh, sige, try tayo ng ganyan, ganun lang. Pero walang ganitong career guidance. Pasalamat tayo ngayon with our changing um innovation in education, meron na tayong mga ganitong career guidance. So as time passed, the role of the parents in helping their child decide which career to choose and what career field is good for them is now of significant importance. These days, the roles of parents in child's development has made the career choice and other life decision a slightly complex process. Hindi na siya komplikado, mas madali na kasi nag nagiging open na ang communication ng parents and ng child. Now, we live in a very complex world. The parents' role is significant. Parents want their children to opt for a career that they know well about. But the, what their children wants or aspires to become can be two different things. The role of the parents in the education and career selection of their child or children is of our utmost importance. Here are the some important factors we could consider natin, not just of our parents and of the children. I got this from idreamcareer.com that this principle is mostly common to me as a parent and very applicable to all parents and children. The first one, we should know the aptitude of the child. What is the aptitude? The child's aptitude is a mirror of his personality. Ano yun? Yung strength, yung weaknesses. Dapat strategically designed yung aptitude test ng mga bata. Some of the schools, nagda, nagdiba, nag, ano sila, nagpapatake sila ng aptitude test para mag-gauge natin. I do not know kung nag exam pa ba yung high school ngayon ng mga aptitude test um, before graduating. Hindi na lang kasi ako aware ngayon. Pero dati, meron tayong tinatawag na NK, yung aptitude examination, para i-gauge kung saan yung weaknesses and strength ng mga bata to the help them decide what career path or course they want to take. O dapat ganun yun. Alamin natin yung ano, yung strength and weaknesses ng mga bata kasi yung doon natin malalaman na uh, mahina siya sa math or yung aptitude niya sa math is mahina tapos gusto natin siyang mag-engineering or architecture, may hirapan yung mga bata. Okay, moving on. Second factor is the interest It's very difficult to spend your life working in a field that you are not interested in. Di ba kahit nga tayo nasa eskulahan, pag yung subject na ito ayaw na ayaw natin, talagang nahihirapan tayo. What more kung nasa work field ka na, tapos hindi mo, yung, hindi mo para feel yung environment mo? What would happen to, the, to your output, to your ano, um, sharing of work tasks and improving yourself? The parents should look into the interests of the child and consider it while shortlisting career options. Yun dapat ang tinitignan. Una, yung aptitude. Isunod natin yung interest ng mga bata. Saan ba siya engage sa artistic? Ganito ba? Dapat aware tayo doon. At yung mga bata, dapat aware din tayo doon. Number three, the availability of the course. E eh, gusto mo mag ganito ng ganyan, hindi available. It is not made available to you. So, what you, what you have to do? The courses leading towards a desired career should be available easily in the proximity and should not be the burden to the student. Proximity lang eh. Dapat malaman natin kung eto feasible ba. Okay? 
Next, number four is the informed decision over herd mentality. What is herd mentality? Hindi herd na naririnig natin. Yung herd mentality, yung kung saan yung marami, doon tayo. Kung saan yung mas demanding, sa doon tayo. Hindi po dapat ganun. The course leading, the course, it is very easy for a child to get swayed by their peer pressure. Tara, tara, doon tayo sa school na ganito kasi para magkasama-sama tayo, di ba? No, dapat hindi po ganun. In choosing a career, majority is not an option. Apo, it should be one which is best for you or him or her to your child. Hindi dahil sikat or yun ang indiman, doon na tayo. Hindi po dapat ganun. Dear parents and mga, pupi, uh, mga students, dapat hindi ganun tayo mag-isip yung mentality natin. Sometimes, even the parents get attracted to a career choice that is trending. O, di ba? Very trending. And this ends up hampering the child's performance. A parents need to be informed all about the career choices and choose the ones that are best for our child. Yung best for our child ha, hindi best for our um ano yan, for our status in life. Dapat the the best interest is for our children. Next factor is the scope Career scope. What is a career scope? It tells us of the various fields and profession that are accessible after pursuing a particular course. Ano ba yung scope ng career ko? Ganito ba ang mangyayari sa akin? Um, applicable kay ito makatulong ako sa magulang ko? Mga something like that. The larger the scope, the better are the chances of finding the roles that suits the child most. Okay, isip-isip na tayo, di ba? And the last one factor is the renumeration. What is in renumeration? Even if not the most important, renumeration of career holds importance in one's life. Nobody likes to earn peanuts, di ba? Ayaw natin yung mani-mani lang. Kaya meron tayong sinasabi nga, ah, eto na lang nga. Kahit mani-mani lang to, na ayaw natin ng ganong. The renumeration should match the child's aspiration and should enable a satisfied and comfortable life. Hindi lang basta magiging komportable tayo sa pipiliin natin, but yung talagang komportable tayo at makakatulong sa atin eventually later in life. To help our parents make aware of their roles in their child's develop, we must curate at least, uh, I listed a dose and don'ts list. These are in order for us to understand the roles of the parents in child's life. They are considered the following. Unahin natin yung mga dose and may dalawa tayo, dose and don'ts. Okay na, clear na tayo dun sa factors natin. Mag dose and don'ts na tayo para mag-guide yung mga parents natin. What are the dose? First, sabi nga natin kanina, let us evaluate their aptitude your strength, and your weakness. Tama naman, di ba? Number two, those help your child in discovering his own passion. Do not impose. Let the child discover their passion. Kasi iba yung imposition sa discovery ng mga bata. Pag in-impose natin, ito dapat. No. Ang dapat na tanong natin is, paano? Ano ba ang gusto mo? paano mo mailalabas yung passion yun sa mga bata. That is the role of us parents. Next dose is, motivate your child in pursuing his or her passion. Sige, go mga anak. Go anak kung etong gusto mo. Kung dito ka masaya, susuportahan ta ka. Sabi nga nila, di ba? Laging ganun yung sinasabi sa atin na, okay, mama, um, Okay, mama, itong gusto ko. Sige, igin. Kung sa taga-iriga, sige, igin. Kung sari ka, mama, ya, san man ako. Good for those parents na ganun. But for some who have difficulties, we cannot we cannot take blame for that or i-blame natin sila for that. Kasi eh, ba't iba ang upbringing natin? Next, those is to inform your child regarding all aspects of our career. I-inform natin yung mga bata, tulungan natin sila to realize what are the options. Kasi ang kailangan natin dito is options. Next, help them, help the child or the children 
understand the work life in the chosen career by associating with professional in the fields. Kaya di ba, gawain na yan na sa school or naging curriculum na yan na one of the curriculum in senior high school is a career guidance. May subject talaga kayo um, dealing on it. Kaya mayroon na tayong association. Po ba ba? Hindi na sa atin mahirap mag-associate sa ganito. So, meaning, pag ikaw pumunta or nag, uh, na you choose to be in an education course, most probably, yung professionals na papasukin mo is on education level. Sa school, sa guidance office, sa registrar's office, something like that. If you want to go into the judicial level, doon ka sa papunta political science. Okay po. Next is to stop your child from falling prey to peer pressure and herd mentality. Kanina in example na natin yan kung ano ang herd mentality. And please children and parents, please do not involve and dwell too much on the peer pressure. Kasi yung BFF ko nursing, so I am expected to be in nursing para hindi kami mag-away. No, it should be the best interest of yourself. Next dose is gain your child's confidence and motivate them to discuss their queries with you. Yun ang nangyari sa pinakita kong video kanina. Build your child's confidence. Opo. And motivate them. Um, make something na para madiscuss ng mga bata and maging open sila sa inyo. Yung mga, mga questions nila regarding or even not in the career, in the life, in the long run sa life nila and everything and experiences, dapat magkaroon sila, i-build natin ng confidence ng mga bata. Last one is seek professional help where, whenever required. Yan po ang wag natin kakalimutan. Even as a parent, we should always seek professional help. Mahirap sa Philippine culture na gawin it. So, kasi nasanay tayo na problema mo, solusyonan mo. Hindi na po yan uso ngayon. Let us change the cliche na dapat pag, pag nag-seek ka ng professional health, may something wrong sa'yo, hindi mo kaya. No. Tumihingi tayo, nagsisik advice tayo sa professional health to give us options and better things para mas mabroaden ang ating um, ang ating experiences and judgment. Okay? Any question about the don'ts? Di ba? O, oh, mama, papa, pag nangagig ka kay teacher, eh, yata, dapat nga araga ko kini. Not only the parents, but also you students. Malapit na kayo, papunta na kayo don. So, eto na, ang don'ts na dapat hindi ginagawa ng mga parents. The don't. Eto, do not dictate. Do not dictate a child's decision, rather guide them towards talking an informed decision. Paulit-ulit niya si teacher. Yes, we always impose. We always dictate. Nakakalimutan kasi sometimes ng mga parents na parents should not be dictator. Parents should be what nga? Our body, our confidante, and our guidance. Sila ang una. Kaya dapat hindi natin yung ginagawa, which hindi naman na iiwasan ng mga parents. Like me, meron din ako mga moments na mga ganyan, but at the long run, pinaprocess namin ng mga bata. Second, na don't. Do not burden the child with unreal expectation. Ang expectation, di ba sabi natin sa internet, mahilig yan, di ba? Expectation versus reality. Dapat ang binibigay natin sa kanila is fixed, fixed expectation, real expectations. Wag natin if flavorized or um, bigyan sila ng flowery interpretation of this one and like that. Dapat fixed yung binibigay natin sa kanilang expectation. Kasi the more expect expectations you have na pag hindi yan naabot, magkakaroon tayo ng frustration. This is both for parents and for the child. Next, don't. Don't be impatient when dealing with children. Meron tayong times na na-encounter, na oh, si ganito yung dati kong classmate ni ganito na ganyan ni mama. 
yung anak niyang isa, tatlong beses na nang papalit-palit ng horse. Pakatapos, ayun, nagbulakbul na tuloy, hindi na. Dapat hindi ganun ang ano natin. Even to us, to us also, you, you and students, dapat hindi kayo impatient. Uh, yung consider, i-consider din ninyo mga bata is yung time. Hindi lang basta <laughs> impatience. Opo. Yung time. Minsan ang mga parents natin impatient na sila sa ganyan, pag umaabot na ganyan, then open again your conversation or your connection to your parents. Another. Okay na po. Another is, the career scope changes with time. Do not try to impose the idea of views that existed during the times. Yun nga po ang sinasabi ko kanina pa. Let us change the roles of the parents. Iba na ang panahon ngayon. Kung dati noon, authority sila, ngayon gawin natin silang confidante. Opo, be confident to talk with your parents and open your communication with them. One more is, do not misguide the child into choosing a career of your choice. Again, maestra ko. Kaya dapat ikaw maestra man. Si papa mo, nagtata-engineer. Dapat ako kami usad na engineer na again. No. Let them choose. Okay, moving on. Another one is, do not allow others the other people's are the friends, your extended family, or your relatives to influence your child in the career selection process. Uy, Bibi, si Auntie mong Santo Canada, maamu di ako wain mo, mag-nursing ka or mag-caregiving na sa ni kasi ni na two-year course lang han. Tapag abot mo, pagkatapos mo, kantutabangan ni ka ni Auntie mong magpa-Canada, Santo na ka mo, Canada, pagkatapos mo, Santo Canada, kuon mo na ako. Oh, hindi po dapat ganyan. Do not influence and do not be influenced by that. Sabi nga natin kanina, ano yun dapat? Alamin natin yung attitude natin and interest in choosing our career. This is our life. Opo, yan ang laging isipin nyo. That is your life. Not the life of your parents or in the life of your neighbors. Your life. You are the important factor in all of this. And do not answer a child's query if you are not sure about it. It's okay to take time, research, or seek professional help. Yan na yung sinasabi natin. Pag hindi natin alam, wag natin i-assume bilang parents na we know everything because of our experiences, of our age, and of whatsoever. Dapat alam natin kung, sa, kung kailan tayo mali, kung kailan tayo tama. And always, again, nakikita natin dito, is always seek professional help. May mga professionals na po tayo na maaari nating lapitan for that issue and concerns. Okay, ito na po. Nakita na natin yung do's and don'ts. These are my children. I have three. Bakit apat? The, uh, the older boy is my pamangkin and they are all with me. The Gia, my eldest, and my pamangkin, Wapi is in is in first year of their college years. Paano nila na decide? This is very um, distinct na nangyari and true to life story. When my daughter, when my eldest daughter, um, graduated in grade twelve, she wanted to pursue um, aeronautics. Sabi niya mama. With with his with her stature, sabi sabi ko bibi mag stewardess ka ganito ganon. Sabi niya mama ayoko, kasi sabi niya natin nakakatuwa ano niya um anecdote niya yan. Ayoko maging waitress ng eroplano. Kung ako sa sakay ng eroplano, ang gusto ko ako magda drive ng eroplano. So talaga dream niya yung aeronautics. So sabi ko ang sigitig na natin kung kaya ng options natin. Sabi ko sa kanya ang unang tinanong ko sa kanya. Kung sakasakali magawan ni mama ng paraan, kakayanin mo ba? First, yan na nakita na natin. Yung aptitude. Diba? Yung interest na andun na nakita na kaagad ng parent yung interest. But next na naisip ko is yung aptitude. Kaya mo ba? Then, syempre nasa school setting tayo. Yung guest speaker namin is lawyer sa so one of the graduation, grade 6 graduation, is a lawyer slash pilot ng Philippine Navy. Ay Philippine, nakalimutan ko na kung ano ni attorney 
Casa Buena. Then nung bago eh, ini-entertain namin siya, sabi sabi niya, "Ah, mama, ganito nagdi-discussion kami." Then nakaabot kami dun sa point na yun kasi nasa aeronautics siya. Sabi ko, "Sir, mahal ba? Mahal ba ka ko yung Sabi niya, kung pag pagtsatsagaan kasi siya nga daw personal experience niya, hindi kaya ng mga magulang niya. Walang resources yung magulang niya para uh, para maporso niya yung gusto niyang dream. So yung ginawa niya is lakas ng loob, graduate muna siya ng isang course. Na gusto din niya, pero yung lifelong dream niya talaga is magpalipad ng eroplano. So after graduation, nagtrabaho siya, nagtrabaho siya, nag-ipon kaso kulang yung inipon niya. Kaya yung ginawa niya is nag-double, triple job. Dito sa Pilipinas, nag-double and triple job ka, talagang kukulaning ka pa rin. But still, look at him now. Nasa attorney na siya, pilot pa. So ano yung sinabi niya doon, uh, ano yung bottom line ng kwento ko? Nung nag speech na siya, she made mention of me. Sabi niya, Ma'am Hakub, um, support your daughter's dream. Ang daling sabihin, ang sakit sa loob na nasabihan ka ng ganon, but yet, tama si sir. The role of the parents is always to guide them and support. Opo, yun din po ang hinihingi ng parents towards you. Hindi lang po kami ang dapat mag-guide sa inyo or kami ang mag-support sa inyo. Dapat din po, my counterpart din po kayo. Please support our decision. Let us talk and follow. Let us both follow our dreams. Apo, ito na siya. This is my eldest who graduated last year, the quarantine year. This is Sabine, my second child. My third child is Lucas in grade 5 and my pamangkin in grade 12. This young man is taking up civil engineering course at CSPC. Actually, it was his second choice of course. But yet, because of proper guidance and intervention, she was able to pass his first year as um, BS or in uh, BS in civil engineering. Hopefully, hindi na siya makaisip na gusto, gusto niya talagang iporso ang nursing career niya. Pero hopefully, she would come to love her course, ay his course today, kaya ganun na yun nangyari. Even mga bata, nun ako din, when I was still in college, I never I never thought of being a teacher. Ayoko, sabi ko, ayoko, nakakapagod si mama, ganito, ganyan yung nangyari. But if you come to love and have passion for it, hindi mo na maiisip yung pagod. Yun na ang sinasabi natin kanina, i-review natin kanina doon sa ginawa natin. If you come to love your job, or whatever it is you want to take in life. Just enjoy it. Mawawala ang pagod nyo. So, ang dami na nasabi ni teacher, di ba? Hindi ko na kayo pinasalita. Well, anyway, I hope everybody, those who are present now in our Zoom um, meeting, uh, they are still here and they are, are listening and sana may kabuluhan yung mga sinabi ko. Okay? I'm going to leave you with a quotation. Last quotation. This is a quotation from Confucius. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Okay po? Thank you and I hope meron kayong nakuha sa session kong ito.